Hello, good morning. Today I'm going hiking. Behind me is a checkpoint. I had to pay something, I think it was ah, less than a euro of entrance to the national park. And now I have to follow eight kilometers on this well road, dirt road. I could also take a taxi but I decided just to walk and after these eight kilometers there's a three kilometers and a half of ascent. This is the highest mountain in Ukraine, very popular. There is some snow on the top so I hope I will manage to get to the top. And well, I will come back after 8 kilometers. After walking for an hour and a half, I have reached base camp. Whoa, there are some ruins here. Actually, it's a parking place where people, mountaineers, leave their vehicles. Also, the Mashrutka, the taxi drives here. And I think everyone takes either taxi or goes by car. I was the only one walking. Okay, the kiosks with the mountaineering equipment have stopped. Actually, they are still here. Just no one is selling anything, probably because it's not the high season yet. Okay, here is the big map. So we have to follow the white and blue trail. I don't know why. The woman on the checkpoint said so. Probably there is less snow. So here they are. White and blue trail. Well, there's also a green one, so it means I'm not lost. Yeah, let's go! I have come above the forest line and the steeper part of the today's mountaineering will begin. Well, after something less than four hours from the parking place, from the point where I started, and two hours from the last parking place where the taxi stops, I'm reaching the top of Mount There is still some snow on the way. Oops, falling down. I forgot my sticks at home. And here I am. This is the top. Snow from this side. It seems that there is no snow from the other side. I will go and take a look. Surprisingly, there is no wind on the top. I expected it will be a lot of wind. And also the weather is quite nice. Okay, let's take a look what's on the other side. Yep, no snow on this side.
well once again view from the top and after eating I'm ready to go down I will descend from the on the snowy part of Mount Hoverla something more than 2000 meters high and I have chosen a different way of descent not walking well at least part of the way I hope I survive with this little bag. Hee-hoo! Woo-hoo! Whoa, that's fast! <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs> Ouch! Oh. I think my butt is all wet now. That was fun. I have to repeat it. Once again, this time more slow. Well, that's an easy ride. But I think I will be all wet on the end. Oops, I'm turning. Oh, that's it. Well, that was a fun ride and for sure I will be down faster than in four hours but I have feeling I won't be exactly dry, uh, dry. I have snow in my shoes uh, here it's not anymore in my pockets look at this what I found Again, I think I became an addict. That's it, the last stop. Okay. I don't want to look at my trousers because probably, <laughs> not probably, but for sure they are all wet. Okay, now I promise I will just walk from here on, even if I find some more snow. Whoop. Maybe there's not snow, but there is mud. Eww. I have to watch where I'm walking, otherwise I will end up in some hospital. And that's something I don't want to do. On my way back, I found a spring and took some refreshment. So, on the end of the day, I want to say some words here while still in nature. Okay, there is really a muddy road, but there is also a river and forest. So, better to do it here than in the car or on the parking lot. So, the ascent took me four hours and the descent took me two hours and a half okay I have to admit that sometimes I do some mountaineering 
So, someone who was never in mountains would need some more time. Anyhow, you can take a taxi and drive to the upper parking place. From there, the ascent took me two hours and descent one hour fifteen. Then together with lunch, maybe you can count four hours. You can go there also with your own car, but the road is not so good. I don't know, I don't really recommend it. Well, I can show you a picture. Well, here the road is not so bad as in some parts. Well, if you have four-wheel drive vehicle, probably it will be okay. Anyway, that's it for today. Tomorrow I'm planning another hike. A hike with the Soviet experience. So like I hope I won't be too tired from today. After all, it took me seven hours all together. But tomorrow is still nice weather like today. The day after that, they are saying it will rain. So I will try and go there. So like, I won't tell you where I'm going. For that, you have to watch next video. And yes, thanks for watching this one. Take care, fellas.